All right, so here we are in my 2021 Model 3 Standard Range Plus with the lamb glass, basically two layers of glass, laminated together, little sound barrier, and uh, to see if it makes an enormous difference. And uh, it does make an enormous difference. Let's go there. Uh, I had a 2019 Model 3 Standard Range Plus previously. And uh, to be clear, the model of Tesla was not really in question. I had driven this with multiple different uh, Teslas in the past, uh, X's, Y's, uh, S's, and all of them were using single pane glass previously. And all of them were incredibly loud. So today you can see that the, uh, well, it's raining outside. Uh, and so this is about as bad as it's gonna get as far as road noise goes. Uh, in my 19 Tesla uh, Model 3, I was able, not able, it's not a good thing, it was running uh, at about 80 decibels on roads like this, and 80 decibels is unfreaking pleasant. Uh, and I, when I say about 80, I'm talking 81, 82, not 78, 79. So I'm being generous when I say 80. Here you can see I'm actually coming in at 65, I'm sometimes cracking 70. So the bottom line is that yes, the double pane glass and whatever else Tesla has done to fix the 2021 has really made a difference. Okay, about a year ago, I recorded a video uh, with uh, my 2019 Tesla Model 3 SR Plus and uh, was complaining about the uh, sound, the, the, the noise. And as you can see in this vehicle, which is my 2021 SR Plus, specifically one with double pane glass, uh, and I think they've made a few other sound uh, changes as well, but really it's double pane uh, glass is the big change. Um, you'll notice that it is uh, quieter than the previous one. And uh, now you won't be able to hear it as loudly as I can because of course my phone has noise cancellation. It will kill a lot of it. So I've got the sound meter up here showing you what the actual decibels are while driving along the same stretch of highway that I was driving last year. I'm often critical of Tesla for their limitations, but as you can see here, this vehicle is about 10 decibels less noisy than my 2019. So this is coming in around 70 decibels, um, sometimes a little higher, sometimes a little lower, but basically let's call it 70. Whereas on the same stretch last year, I was pulling in about 80 uh, decibels, again, a little higher could be a little lower it, uh, it was variable i'll put the link to that video in the top right hand corner so you can listen to it if you want in case you're looking at buying an older model 3. now something to note is that this is not model 3 specific and it's not the version of the model 3 so it's not a difference between the standard range and the uh, performance or the long range that's not the difference the difference is uh, in the model year. So the older models of all of the Teslas, the S, the X, whatever, they all have crappy single pane glass. The new refreshed models uh, are all using the new dual pane glass. And as you can see, it makes a pretty big difference in the sound quality. So this is an important change. There's still an awful lot more that Tesla could do. For instance, my 2014, I want to emphasize that seven year older 2014 uh, plug in hybrid Ford Fusion Energy uh, Luxury Edition has uh, active noise cancellation. It has microphones throughout the cabin, and you can look at them and see them, and you'd think, well, why do they have, you know, microphones everywhere? Well, because those microphones are what are taking in the sound, and then the speakers are going to put out an opposite sound, so the sound waves crash against each other, cancel each other out, which makes it an awful lot quieter to be in. And there's nothing stopping Tesla from doing that either. I don't think it's very expensive, uh, you know, so I'm not saying it's free. It is more expensive than a number of the fixes that Tesla could do, but it is uh, something that they can do without breaking the bank. And I would expect in the upper models, in particular the S and the X, that uh, that, that is something that they'll be looking at in the near future because even 70 decibels is not acceptable for an awful lot of people. If you found this video useful, please click like. It really helps with the Google algorithm. If you like this type of thing, please click subscribe. Again, really helps with the algorithms. 
Beyond that, if you have a question, please leave it in the comment section below. We'll get back to you. Alternately, you can always get a hold of us at www.partisanissues.com and we will get back to you again, usually within a day or two. Thanks and have a great day. Bye-bye.